Yep, this looks like a king's castle, all right. Watch out for hostile enemies, 2B. Roger that, 9... Z. Huh? Wait, what did you just say? Roger that, 9S. Wait, no, that's not what you said. You said 9s. Or at least something close to... Cut the chatter and engage the enemy. Ah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Is this their king? To be. That's an android. A Yorha type android. Alert. This unit is currently wanted by Yorha. Annihilation recommended. Annihilation? But why? Let's go, 9S. To be? <laughs> Bunker to 2B and 9S. We've picked up a signal from the black box of a fugitive known as A2. What you see in front of you is your enemy. <laughs> but she's... She deserted us. She's destroyed multiple pursuit androids. Now kill her before she kills you. Why did you betray us? Command is the one that betrayed you. Let's go after her, 2B. Damn! She got away. Operator, this is 9S. Patch me through to the commander. Roger that, 9S. I'm sorry, commander. We failed to defeat the fugitive. I see. Well, at least you're both safe. That's an incredibly powerful unit you just faced. You should probably keep your distance in the future. Commander, why did A2 desert the force? <sighs> I'm afraid that's classified. Oh? Huh. To be? Yeah? Let's go ask Pascal about A2. He might know something. All right. Whether in wind or rain, thunder or snow, or even amidst the rising flames of war, they were always together. They never understood why. And yet they spent their lives nestled together. Forever. Forever and ever. Um, Pascal? This is 9S. Oh, you survived. How wonderful. Yeah, we're fine. But there's something we want to ask you about. Anything. Actually, it needs to be in person. Hmm. Understood. I'll open the gate we built to deter enemy invaders. You'll be able to reach the village through there.
That must be the gate Pascal opened for us. We have been expecting you. Pascal told us about you. We will open the gate. It'll be faster if you just take a look at this recording. I see. Information about this A2 android is indeed contained within our archives. We all understand her to be rather dangerous. However, she's never visited our village in person. My apologies. That's all the information I have. I see. All right, thanks. Let's stay sharp and head back to the Resistance camp. We should run a check on our consciousness data and resupply. 9S, why did you ask Pascal about A2? Huh? It's not recommended to interface with machines without consulting command. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Though I suppose such intense curiosity can be admirable, in its own way. <laughs> Thanks, 2B. Still, machines are the enemy. Don't forget it. Operator 210 to 9S. This is your regularly scheduled contact. Yeah, yeah. No problems here. Copy that. I also need to inform you that the commander offers her personal praise for your recent achievements. As a direct result, we are currently considering boosting production of your model. Really? I'm happy to hear it. I couldn't have done it without your support, Operator. You're always so cool under fire, not to mention beautiful and... Flattery is unnecessary. Operator 210, out. I really meant it, though. Oh, 2B. Your timing is impeccable. Our android forces currently have a carrier deployed in the Pacific Ocean. It should be back here to resupply before too long. The Resistance is assisting with the mission, so I'd like to ask you to run a little guard duty. Seriously? Dead serious. There's a stockpile of missiles down at the shoreline that needs to be loaded on the carrier. And with all the machine activity lately, we need to stay on our toes. Of course, if you're already working on something for Yorha, I don't mind if that takes priority. Anyway, thanks in advance. Why must we read all these books, brother? Knowledge expands horizons and enriches existence. But can't we just transfer all this data over instantly? Into your head, perhaps, but not to your heart. Uh, I guess. Hmm. Hey, so... Yes? My name? Eve? This book says it's a woman's name. Shouldn't we be called Cain and Abel or something instead? Humans wouldn't change names so easily. Besides, you should be proud of the name Eve. Huh. Well, if that's what you think, then I'm fine with it. Glad to hear it. Um... Is there something else? After we're done reading, can we go out and play? I'm sure it'll be tons of fun. All right but only after we're finished. You mean it? Then I'm gonna try extra hard to finish this. 
<laughs> extra, extra hard! You do that. The bedrock here was bombed out in the last war. Looks like the whole city is starting to sink as a result. Missile sighted. Is that what we need to protect? <laughs> Let's take him out already so I can be home in time for dinner and a bath. Androids don't need to bathe. As long as you perform regular cleaning and maintenance, bathing is unnecessary. Yeah, but come on, 2B. It still feels good. I think that's the last of the machines. 2B, 9S, come in. Commander? Emergency orders incoming. The carrier ship that was set to resupply has come under attack. It's currently being engaged by a swarm of machines. I've asked all Yorha troops in the city ruins for assistance, and I'll need you to provide backup as well. I'm sending flight units and coordinates now. Good luck. Out. You see? Total slave driver. Whoopsh. If she didn't order others around, what kind of leader would she be? Hmm. If you say so.
attention, this is Carrier Blue Ridge 2. Requesting support from any friendly units in range. We've come under heavy fire from the enemy. Our escort ship has taken damage and is unable to engage. We're currently resisting with all remaining support fighters, but we can't hold them off for long. I repeat, this is Carrier Blue Ridge 2. We need immediate backup from any available Android forces. Picking up a large-scale enemy inbound. Looks to be 2.8 clicks southwest of us. Unit destroyed. Reverting back to area recon. Wait, I'm still picking up a large enemy presence. Didn't I kill that already? What on? If it's that big, we should be able to see it. Well, that's new. <laughs> It's freaking huge! Crap! It's blocking close-range attacks with EMP blasts. We've got to find another way to damage it. Operator 210 to 9S. Command has decided to stage a direct satellite laser strike on the hostile. We need you to destroy the enemy EMP generator so we can lock onto the target. EMP generator? Sending the coordinates to your map now. EMP generator target confirmed. Marking on map. Proposal. Destroy the generator quickly. Go ahead. The only known record of this machine life form is a lone sighting 320 years ago. Upon reaching land, the unit unleashed a devastating electromagnetic wave attack. All resistance fighters in the vicinity were annihilated. So basically, if this thing reaches land, we're screwed. Affirmative.
confirmed elimination of electromagnetic interference. Stand by for incoming satellite laser strike. Oh, come on! It's got an electromagnetic barrier over its whole body? <laughs> Having trouble over there? Are you Yorha? Hunter Squadron deploying out of North 12C Defense HQ. I'm the Commanding Officer, 4B. Don't worry, we'll take it from here. To be. Let's leave this area to the reinforcements. I have an idea. You and I should meet up at the spot I just marked. We've got mortars lining the shoreline here. All the EMP shielding in the world won't help against close-range mortar fire. Got it. I'll help aim. Thing's armor is too thick. We need more firepower. 2B, let's try for a more direct approach. Direct? Oh, right. That's right. Lay down some fire in its stupid mouth. To be. This is bad. Okay? What? Please, Tubi. This is gonna work. Tubi! I'm going to see if we can use those missiles back on the shore. But I need you to destroy the EMP unit on that thing's back. Otherwise, they're just going to go off course. On.
Activate missile controls. Prepare to launch. Missile controls engaged. Launch ability confirmed. Fire! I didn't think this would be so hard to control. Alert. Obstacle ahead. A collision at this speed is not recommended. Well aware, thank you. <laughs> S signal lost. Organize a search and rescue party for the missing Yorha members at once. To be. Minus. Don't die on me. The child held sway over enormous strength. But sadly, he was also a little bit broken. He spent his long days hurting those around him. He tried his best to be good and kind. But despite his efforts, things never seemed to turn out. They told him he was unwanted. They abandoned him in the deep, dark ocean. And from the cold at the bottom of the sea, he cried out, Mother! 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 But his voice never reached his mother. This is Tactical Support Unit, Pod 042, assigned to 2B. This is Tactical Support Unit, Pod 153, assigned to 9S. We pods often participate in the same battles. Exchanging our situational data would theoretically allow us to plan combat strategies in a more efficient manner. Proposal. Data should be transferred regularly between pod 042 and pod 153. Analysis. This idea is sound. Proposal accepted. Records will be organized in time for the next situational exchange.
Each of the machines treated their treasures with great care. One treasured family above all else. Another treasured its older sibling. Another treasured its own beauty. But one more machine treasured something unique above all else. Hate. Is this death? So dark, so cold. Come on, let's go home. Mm.